You know, Caldwell, one of my favorite things about Hell is that they always keep me guessing. Sometimes it'll be an incredibly fantastical, absurd torture, like pulling my eyeballs out through my nose. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it'll just be construction noise and I can't sleep. Yeah, I've been having this thing where somebody mows a lawn somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen any grass in hell, but I've heard lawnmower sounds. It's very disturbing, I'll tell you what. All right, you overpaid yahoos. I said we needed pillars of flame. Pillars, that is a spire. Don't you tell me that's a pillar, because I know a spire of flame when I see one. What do we even pay you numbnuts for? Ugh. Oh, hey, Managar. Hey, hey boys, sorry about the noise. Uh, that is not a torture. That is not a uh, some kind of infernal damnation. We, we, we're under construction. We're, we're expanding the brand. Oh, wow. Well, you get oh. two birds for one stone. We are definitely feeling tortured by it. It really, it harkens back to stuff that I thought was torture when I was alive. You know, we built hell back in the, uh, you know, 6,000 years ago. That's the correct year. <laughs> back then it was like, oh, you hit your brother with a rock. But now, now we're just overflowing. We had to add uh, cell phone owners, um. Um, teachers that don't grade on a curve, um, <laughs> just everyone that has ever earned more than $5 million under capitalism. It's <laughs> been rough uh you know please excuse the uh racket but uh don't worry about it to take your mind off of things we got a new suggestion for a cartoon Ooh. oh boy let's get ready to get real spooky ooky because Ooh. uh Zalik says knock off classic horror monsters oh some new spooks now again uh, we have to stress even though these are all public domain characters, he still wants off-brand knockoffs for some reason. No, that makes sense, yeah, yeah. So I do not want to see a pixel-perfect Bella Lugosi up there. <laughs> I want to see some cut-for-materials-expense uh, offshoot vampires. Oh, yeah, these are going to be some real janky prosthetics. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I think we can definitely handle a knockoff feel. Yeah, I've inhaled a lot of that dust that you pardoned me for, uh, so I'm feeling pretty loopy right now, so I'm, I'm ready to get into it. Oh, yeah, that's some good dust. Okay. Now, I do think that, like, w when we're talking about horror monsters... Right. Uh, Managar, you're right on point. Like, Nosferatu is kind of the keystone for me. I think that's just, like, so classic. So I want to work with that uh, to start us off here. It's a good jumping off point. Exactly. So I'm going to rough in, like, a quick vampire. But okay, I think but... that, Nathan, my, the one difference that I'm going to employ here... Mm -hmm. is I think instead of uh, calling them vampires, we are going to call them suck boys. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> So this is it's sort of like a like a mosquito. Yeah, it's it's mosquito esque. Those are the closest things to vampires that exist in real life. They they suck human blood. Exactly, and I don't think it's going to be limited to just blood. I think they'll suck whatever you got. Oh, like a milkshake. Yeah, if you've got a milkshake or if you've got like some pancreatic fluid, I think they'll just go go to town on that. I like that we're skipping over that portion uh, in the creative process that we sometimes get stuck on where we try and come up with like a clever name that's uh -huh. like a play on vampire. No, no, no. Um, and we're just going straight to suck boy. <laughs> Listen, we're in hell. I figure we might as well go there as far as the creative process is concerned. It's clearly a knockoff vampire. Mm -hmm. We're showing not telling. Yeah. It's like you hear the term suck boy and you don't think vampire, but mm -hmm. you see it and it's like, oh, I see what they were going for. Yeah, 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 sure. I think it's like maybe like a blade scenario where they accidentally made better vampires. Uh-huh. But this was like a reject vampire experiment, perhaps. They were like genetically engineered to be a superior vampire that could suck anything. Mm -hmm. But then I guess, I don't know, some some mosquito juice got mixed into the DNA. Yeah, the classic fly in the in the teleporter situation. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold the phone call. Well, tell me more about this delicious sounding mosquito juice. It's like bug juice that you have at camp, but with with actual bugs yeah mm. it's fun it comes in all the different blood type flavors uh and you can get it with pulp or no pulp um wings removed or whatnot what do we think about this pose here i was gonna comment on it mm -hmm. it's very uh very mole i'm getting a lot of mole 
from this. I think that, yeah, this is a burrowing species for sure. Okay, so it sort of sucks the dirt out of the ground to create little holes that they can sort of scramble into. I'm imagining a very scrambly motion for this creature. Definitely a scrambleman. Um, I think that maybe as, as opposed to being a mole, it like kind of perches on top. It's like an elf on the shelf sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of perches on top of a bookshelf or something like that. Yeah, definitely. They like a perch. <laughs> a scramble and a perch. That's like the, the rhyme for it is, you know, like if you hear a scramble and then a perch, like something in the darkness lurch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lur lurch. Lurch. <laughs> Lurches. Does this character, like, I, I understand this is sort of a prototype for an entire species of monster, yes. but like, is does this particular suck boy have a name? Oh, um, how about Slurp? Slurpo. <laughs> I like Slurpo. Slurpo the suck boy. Slurpo Jones. Uh, again, I hate to be uh, the corporate <laughs> voice here. Could we call him Count Slurpo? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, should it be a different uh, a different type of European nobility besides a count? Viscount. Viscount. <laughs> He's a discount vampire named Viscount Slurpo. I think we got it. How does Slurpo talk? Painfully from the looks of it. Yeah, just sort of a... <laughs> yeah, there's a chance that it might be a Chewbacca type deal where it's just all kind of uh, slurpy noises. Yeah, and again, are, are we are we going sort of um, like a birds of a feather route where there's no there's no subtitle to accompany it? It's just you just sort of hear it, and everyone around him can understand what he's saying, but the audience just sort of has to take their word for it. I do like that. Great. We're starting with just a non-speaking character, but I think definitely an emotional an emotional center for the show. Absolutely. And Nathan, I am thinking that this is maybe going to be like an X-Files type thing where they okay. are hunting down urban legends and uh, and creatures and monsters. These are sort of turncoat monsters that, that work for the government trying to hunt down other monsters. Oh, it could be that. I was I was thinking that like each episode focuses on a different monstie, which is what they're called. Oh, yeah. That's a knockoff monster is a monstie. Monsties. Great. I feel pretty good about Viscount Slurp. I don't know what more I can add, honestly. I like him a lot. I would like to get in there. I'm going to give him one very long hair. <laughs> now I'm done. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> and now let me add the finishing. Wait, wait, wait. Caldwell, what? Caldwell, stop. There's a demonic voice in my head that's compelling me to tell you that if you want to see the rest of this episode, you got to go to dropout.tv and sign up. Oh. Now the voice in my head is telling me to slap you a bunch, Caldwell. I'm sorry. Oh. It's what I, I'm being compelled. Oh, ow. Check out dropout.tv. Do it. You're too late, Agent Human. Soon my handsome face will rest atop the shoulders of the elusive Chunk Leg. 